How is the Corona $2 trillion stimulus package going to be financed? Perhaps this is a simple question but as a non-US citizen I don't understand how the US government is going to finance the $2 trillion stimulus package to combat the economic damage due to the corona pandemic. Is the government going to somehow delegate this to the Fed and if yes, how? I believe that the government is going to encourage the financing of the $2 trillion dollar stimulus to the Fed and this will take place through the Fed purchasing US Treasuries. It is also in the best interest of the Fed to do so in order to foster the stability, integrity, and efficiency of the nation's economy Federal Reserve Bank mission. This is actually taking place now as the Federal Reserve Bank of New York will purchase $37 billion in Treasury bonds to boost liquidity in the crucial government debt market, announced on the 13th https colon slash slash the hill dot com slash policy slash finance slash four eight seven four two seven dash ne dash fed dash to dash accelerate dash bond dash purchases dash to dash keep dash treasury dash market dash flowing closing parenthesis the New York Fed will also offer one trillion dollars in short term loans to banks and brokers in exchange for treasury bonds the Fed will eventually be repaid with interest on the loans it offered to banks and brokers in exchange for returning the bonds it purchased. The government and the Fed are going to be working together to help jumpstart the economy, according to the article. During the Great Recession the U.S. government used the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act to help jumpstart the economy while the central bank used quantitative easing QE, zero interest rates, buying U.S. treasuries, and other tools too as well. On a side note, a stimulus package can either be in the form of a monetary stimulus or a fiscal stimulus. One of monetary stimulus tools involves cutting interest rates to stimulate the economy. When interest rates are cut, there is more incentive for people to borrow as the cost of borrowing is reduced. Which is what the Fed is doing now. An increase in borrowing means there'll be more money in circulation, less incentive to save, and more incentive to spend. Lowering interest rates could also weaken the exchange rate of a country, thereby leading to a boost in exports. When exports are increased, more money enters the economy, encouraging spending and stirring up the economy. Fiscal stimulus refers to increasing government consumption or transfers or lowering taxes. Effectively this means increasing the rate of growth of public debt, assuming that the stimulus will cause sufficient economic growth to fill that gap partially or completely. When a government opts for a fiscal stimulus, it cuts taxes or increases its spending in a bid to revive the economy. When taxes down, people have more disposable income. An increase in disposable income results in more spending to boost economic growth. When the government increases its spending, it injects more money into the economy, which hopefully decreases the unemployment rate, increases consumer spending, with the hopes to counter the impact of a recession. A potential problem of fiscal stimulus is that to increase public spending the government has to increase its borrowing. There is a chance, Rick, that people may actually choose to save the excess disposable income instead of spending it, which could render the stimulus package ineffective. American Recovery and Reinvestment Act ARA, February 2009, is an example of economic stimulus package. It instilled the confidence needed to boost economic growth. It also aimed to restore trust in the financial services industry. ARA cut taxes by $288 billion. It spent $224 billion in extended unemployment benefits, education, and health care. While also creating jobs using $275 billion in federal contracts, grants, and loans.